Spectra, the unpackaging video. We're going to talk about how to get your Spectra kit from its box into use and go through all the steps to get from a closed box through to an image reconstruction today. When you get it, you will see that it comes in a box, open it up, whoop, and it should be nestled in some foam padding. If you've got the deluxe kit, you'll have the extra cables and bits and pieces. So let's just take everything out and make sure that it's all in order. Here we have the adapter. I'll just pop this over here. Here is the 32 electrode gold plated cable that fits into the adapter. Here is the spectra device itself, which we'll take out in a moment. Should have a tank with a flex PCB inserted into it. Power cable. And a thank you card. The thank you card is also a link to the software and the installation instructions, which we will go through shortly. Once you've taken everything out and made sure that you've got everything you expected to, we're going to set up a Spectra device by plugging it into the flex electrode array on the tank. So let's just get it out of an anti-static bag. There we go. Um, so here's a Spectra. This one I've actually already put a battery in. I'm not uh, sending batteries around because uh, it makes postage more tricky, but you can get one yourself. There's a little hook here, you'll notice. And most of all, there is this FPC connector right at the top here, which we're going to focus on. So what we do is we have a little look in here. You'll see two tabs that you can pull down. That opens up the FPC connector and makes it ready for cable insertion. Here is the 32 electrode array. It's got a gold plated side and a dark side. Simply grab the gold plated side so it's on top. And then, oops, just like that. Put it into place. And now just so that you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just about to press in the tabs up like that and then with the hook at the back I'm going to hang it like that onto the tank there we are ready to go next up we need some some water something to image and some software okay let's start by having a look at the back of this card it's got instructions about how to download the software. Now, which software you download is going to depend on your operating system. So go to openeit.github.io and you'll see a whole bunch of installation instructions and tutorials. Um, if you have, this is the installation instructions, if you have um, OS X, you can download a double click installer by just clicking here. If however you've got Windows or Ubuntu or something like that, then you should click on the code repository and follow the install instructions from there. In the install instructions, hopefully they're pretty thorough. 
Um, but if not, would love your feedback. Create an issue on this repository based on the experience you're getting, if you have any problems. The trick is to have Python installed and basically follow the instructions at the command prompt you type the pip install requirements after cloning this repository. And then to run the software at the command line, just type python app.py and that will create an instance of the server. The software will let you switch between the different firmware modes, that is time series impedance, bioimpedance spectroscopy, which is the frequency sweep, or imaging, where you do reconstructions with 8, 16, or 32 electrodes. Great, now let's grab the cable. Here it is. And we'll take the small micro USB side, pick up your empty spectra tank, which is all plugged together. And you should see the micro USB plug, which you can plug in. This is the on and off button. We're going to switch it to the on position. That means it's up. Great. So we're not going to image anything at first. We're just going to get the software running with it. And make sure that it's all, all working. So we'll just pop this over here. On my MacBook Pro, I actually need one of these adapters to get from USB-C through to USB, um, standard USB. So there's your USB cable, Whoop. we plug it in like that. And we should be good to go. So let's find out if the software and the device are connecting. We type python app.py at the command line. like it started. Click on this link. Cool. So now we can see the software is running, um, but we haven't actually connected to the device yet, which seems like a key, key test. So in the control tab of the interface, it has the different things on your computer that are the COM ports. Uh, it looks like a USB device has shown up, which is perfect because we have indeed plugged in a USB device. So let's hit connect. By default, Spectra starts up in 16 electrode imaging mode. Oh, cool. Look. Data, this is the raw data coming out of Spectra, is updating on the screen. That way we know that it's working. The next step is going to be imaging. For imaging, grab some water. If you want to get a very exact result, I would suggest controlling the salinity. But we don't care right now, we're just going to show a functional test. There we go. Put water in it. Got my trusty mystery spot shot glass. Um, we're going to image. So let's just go back here and hit the imaging tab. 
like so. And in 16 electrode mode, we have a few different things on the screen. We have um, the ability to baseline, which will remove the background through subtracting each pixel. We've got auto scale, which picks um, a scale which will expand the entire range of the histogram, which is here. The histogram can be used to measure the uh, the amplitudes of the reconstructed image so that you can um, easily so now we are imaging but we haven't put anything in the tank it's empty I'm just going to baseline it should change the image and it also changes the scale of amplitude in the image reconstruction to plus or minus 50 image reconstructed units that will allow us to see a better contrast when we put a an object into the tank so baselining is quite important because it scales the numbers to a common reference right now I'm actually not on a flat surface, let's just go over here. Um, so there will be a slight impedance mismatch across the, um, the surface area of the tank. So let's pop this in here. auto scale to see what the new scale looks like and you should be able to see an image created on one side there are these sliders here that I find very useful let's just go back to the software I'll zoom out a little bit perhaps um, so um, the scale goes from negative through to positive and what you might want to do is um, remove some parts of the data to be able to see it better. You can also do this after you hit record the data. Um, if you want to record the data, just hit this button here, record, and it will record it to a text file. There's it started recording, stop recording, download, and then down here on the left is raw data.txt for later analysis. I'm going to now move this to the other side of the tank. We'll wait for a full update to see it on the other side. Whoop, there we go. If you want it to image faster, you should pick the 8 electrode setting. If you want a higher resolution image, you should pick the 32 electrode setting. Hopefully that covers the basics of imaging right now. Um, I encourage you to experiment with it, to tune the algorithms for your particular use case. Um, you can also read back files that you've already recorded and step through them one by one and um, you can also change modes in the software so right now we have a serial connection and down at the bottom in the control tab we link to the letter that you should type in to change the mode mode A is time series which is great for measuring Things that change quickly over time, like your heartbeat or your lung capacity. B is bioimpedance spectroscopy, which will give you the frequency sweep information. And C is 8 electrode EIT. D, 16 electrode EIT. 
E is 32 electrode EIT. So let's just try that. I'm going to type in the letter A. It doesn't matter if it's upper or lower case. Hit send. And then to ensure that it received that command, you will now see the command prompt change. And if we hit the time series tab, you will now see time series data going through. This is a great start. For more detailed information on time series measurements and ion pin spectroscopy, I encourage you to go through the tutorials in detail that are at openeit.github.io. Here's one on biome pin spectroscopy. It goes through how to set it up. How to attach it. And a couple of example data points and experiments that I've done with it. Good luck using your spectra device. I look forward to hearing feedback and finding out how it's being used and working with you on creating the next open source biomedical imaging device.